Hi, everyone. Welcome to the next session. My name is Oliver. I'll be the moderator. And uh, yeah, next session, what is it about? So we are at UI5Con, but obviously UI5 isn't the only UI framework out there. Uh, most of you will be familiar with the usual suspects like React and Angular, for example. So um, UI5 needs to face the comparison with these tools. Um, and it's no secret that we are five isn't always perceived as the best one out there, surprisingly. Um, so today we learn something about uh, what sets you are five apart from the competition and to give us more insights uh, in this from the unique and unbiased outside perspective. We have two external speakers with us today. So please welcome from Advades GmbH, Christoph Kinderknecht and Philipp Farnett. So over to you. Yeah. Hello and welcome. My name is Philipp Farnard and this is my colleague Christoph Kinderknecht. Uh, we work for Advartis company in Herborn. Uh, Advartis is a company with 10-year uh, experience of uh, working with new SAP technologies. And our goal today is to share some experiences. Uh, if you are in a similar situation or encounter similar circumstances in a future project, uh, we hope to share some helpful insights. Uh, unfortunately, we are not allowed to show any material of our client, um, and we start now. This we all have already have done. Okay, and these are the topics uh, we want to cover today. And I will start with our story, our journey of the last six years. Yeah. Uh, six years ago, we were hired by our customer uh, who already had an SAP system running and was unsure about the front-end technology to choose for future developments. Uh, we as consultants with an SAP background naturally leaned uh, to the development in UI5, but uh, it took some uh, uh, arguments to convince the customer of using UI5. Um, Uh, first, uh, we had uh, to highlight the advantages uh, of the development in UI5. And as you all know, it has a large set of controls pre-built. Um, and this lets us focus more on the user experience of the development of the user experience. Um, next up is uh, that the pre-built themes um, are a solid foundation for the adoption of the corporate design of the customer. And uh, extensive changes to the theming are uh, quickly implemented. Um, the guidelines um, are also a good basis for a consistent user experience and uh, they can be broken if they conflict with the customer's preferences. But um, every change to the guidelines should be well documented and uh, very well considered. Another big advantage of UI5 in uh, combination with an SAP system is the Fury Launchpad, as you all know, um, because the initial effort of uh, starting your first app is very low uh, compared to a self-developed uh, solution. Um, and new features are shipped with every update. Um, the focus is on the development of the applications themselves. Um, role and permission system is uh, very well designed and minimizes the effort required. And um, also a login procedure is already shipped with the launchpad, so you don't have to custom develop something like that. Um, next slide. Um, after the first year of development, we shipped our first applications to the productive system, and uh, it was a great success. Um, but the customer's backlog contained uh, additional requirements, and our team was not sufficient enough to, um, to implement them in a timely manner uh, because of the team size. So the internal decision was made by the customer to use their um, internal expertise and uh, start an Angular team alongside our team to develop uh, applications from the backlog. 
Um, the process behind these applications uh, was less complex um, and they could very well align with the template we gave them with our previously uh, developed apps. The result was that the Angular applications had more time to focus on the UX and the visual appearance of the applications. Um, and updating UI5, as you all know, on-premise takes more effort than updating Angular. So our aging belief theme was another point of criticism. Um, the internal search of the customer for UI5 developers was very hard, so they decided to hire more Angular developers uh, and new Angular projects started to emerge. And then came the first criticism, official criticism of our customer. Um, and they told us that um, after we had developed maybe like 30 apps, um, the visual appearance uh, became apparent, uh, the visual difference, um, and the customer complained about the old fashioned look of our applications. Um, and the insufficient adaptability of the tiles and their overall, de overall design. Um, since the customer practically received the FLP for free, they did not, they were not aware of the hard work they had saved because self-development in Angular takes a lot more time uh, as the things I mentioned, as uh, you have to implement a login and uh, a launchpad or a central starting point all by yourself. Uh, we had, also we were under pressure and we had to act quickly. We had uh, to make UI5 not only technically, but visually competitive. Um, on our own initiative, um, we uh, developed a custom theme on the base on the, at the time, uh, news theme horizon uh, at our, in our free weekend. And um, we made mockups of our apps on a, another system with a new system software installed. Um, our design incorporated influences of the customer's website and the previously developed Angular applications, and the controls stylistically resembled those of the currently used ones uh, of the Horizon theme. Um, as an example, uh, we extended the launchpad with a few plugins. Um, we made our settings app uh, accessible from ev every other app. So we made a plugin that uh, integrated the button in the launch bar header. Um, and uh, the, when you opened the settings app, it was context sensitive to the app which opened uh, the app. So um, you could make settings and go back to your app and it was already refreshed with the new settings. Um, another plugin we built um, was a plugin that could uh, send front end error reports to the back end for easy troubleshooting. And we abandoned our previous stance to do as little modification to existing controls as possible to be near the standard and um, began to heavily customize existing controls to better fit the company needs. Um, we communicated that we uh, need more time to implement our own custom controls. Um, and so we had more power, uh, so we had uh, the power to develop everything we needed to get better results as previously. Um, then we delivered our modification package and received overwhelmingly positive feedback from our end users. Our approach on uh, creating a consistent design across multiple technologies was a resounding success. And a user survey showed that the distinction between the text was barely noticeable anymore. Uh, the current view of the customer of using both frameworks is gener generally positive. And he understands the necessity of uh, working with both technologies. The development focus relies heavily on using UI5 um, and Angular is used for ex exceptional requirements. Uh, Angular apps are semi-integrated into the launchpad and are opened in a new tab when clicked on the respective tile. Um, and the launchpad remains the central starting point of our application landscape. 
Um, we do weekly tech meetings to ensure that uh, consist consist consistent development is. Um, uh, we do weekly meetings to make sure that future developments are as consistent as possible between the technologies. Um, and design decisions are made with both, team, both teams. Um, the acceptance of the customer um, that we use both technologies in the future is increased and the both teams don't work against each other any longer. We work hand in hand. Um, the competition between both teams resulted in better UI design and the implementation of innovative innovative designs. Okay, innovative. You, innovative designs. Uh, thank you, Philip. Um, um, I do in, in some detail. Uh, I show some detail aspects now because um, they are gone some years and we cannot show everything. But um, why is the influence of corporate design so important and so important to clarify when you use multiple frameworks. Um, sure, you want to have the safe behavior and look for each application, even if you have um, cross application usage. And in, for example, there was an Angular and even Angular ha have a lot of UI packages. So if you want to contain all UI controls of UI5, you need more than UI package, one UI package from Angular. So you need to find two fitting UI packages from Angular, and you need to try to fit them to the UI5 uh, corporate uh, to the UI5 design. Um, I uh, show you a small example. On the left side, we see in the multi select control from UI5. On the right side, we see Angular material um, multi select. We have chosen two options, and the UI5 is token-based, and the Angular is text-based. Now we can say, OK, who, do, who cares? The user don't uh, care on uh, these issues. And if you are lucky, the applications are even for different users. But um, if you have an amount of growing um, applications, you need to compare hundreds of controls this way and need to get a strict line for the user because you're losing, uh, because if a user heavily uses this multi-select control and recognize this X in the token and missing it on the, on the other side, it's in, uh, uh, yeah, you're missing it uh, without knowing you what you're missing as a user. Um, and other big aspect is family, font families differences. All you know, UI5 has come with a 72 font. Uh, even with different bolts. And Angular for Material, for example, is WorkSounds from Google. And now you need to try to fit them. And both frameworks are uh, optimized for these fonts. So you have some, some issues if you just change it. You can change it. You can change the font in the theme designer for sure. But you have a, a wider word size, the applications may be uh, fitted for that, and you have issues you don't want. Um, as I told you, you need to harmonize it. Okay, we faced this issue some years before. At the moment, you have more options. You can use UI5 web components directly in Angular, for example. And or you can, uh, the other option is the fundamental library or, or um, option is available for Angular, React, and I think some more frameworks. So we can fit Angular, React apps to UI5 guidelines. Both took its time to get a large set of control. Now it's really, really wide set. Uh, and it should be a good option to, for, for this issue. Um, let's talk about customization. It's a big topic in sub-universe. If you transform, I show a power of transforming and sub M planning calendar, it's a complex control to um, customer, uh, to a cu custom control with very highly, when it's highly um, adapted to the user case. Um, yeah, let me show you something here. 
Um, we're working in the retail area, so we changed the user with products. Easy, no, no adoption needed. We added some filters above, easy. All right. Um, you want to have a planning, um, promotion planning. How often do uh, one product be in one year, two years, three years in, the, in your promotion? So we added a custom. So we, sorry. So we added a, so we added a custom. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so we added um, the time horizons and even the you know, face next issues. We, sh we see in the default you have uh, calendar weeks. If you have a month view, year view, or more, you don't have this in the normal controls. So we added a custom control. I'll show you a small example. Yeah, you need to be, uh, get a bit creative. What's what to example the week numbers, but it's working. So we added week numbers. We changed the minimal size of the um, appointments. So we can have really small sizes because a week and three years is very low in the display. Um, but in the end, you have a highly customized control with some uh, only some lines of code, but highly adopted to the user case. And this control to rebuild from free, uh, from ground is, is no fun, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, let's talk about customization in the second way. Um, the acceptance, uh, acceptance of the framework is not only the, the app, it's the whole framework. And the whole framework is a FLP, OK, sub work zone in the newer world. Um, where you need to, to show um, the strange. And we have some, some applications. Now you have an application. OK, we have uh, settings for more groups. In what group do you add this adding, editing application? OK, we said perfect case for FLP plugins. Loading, um, you see, we're loading here in button. Um, just opening a default in an application and yeah, okay, what's called in uh, uh, your, your, default, your default settings, custom settings, uh, you know, SM30, and uh, <laughs> and uh, just change your custom settings there. And you can uh, reach this from each application, which is a huge, huge advantage from, uh, from for the launchpad or the work though. Um, Another example was, um, I'm going very fast, we added some um, a global plugin, which is, which is not visible, but detecting, which is detecting uh, delays, data delays, and adding, when you open the application, which is uh, marked as uh, sensible of data delay, we're showing in the application in, in, in bar and showing some delay data. So you have to, um, the, uh, you save the effort to implementing this in each application. You, um, we have a lot of more than 30 meanwhile. And um, yeah, and you, and you still get the user connection directly in the application. Um, we're missing hardly uh, to run third party applications like Angular and the FLP in the sub work zone. I, I think it's already not possible to open a new tab is not 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 our conclusion for sure. It should run in like a sandbox or even RP routing mode, something like that. And then you can combine multiple frameworks really good. Come to the conclusion. Um, for sure, you can run simultaneously multiple technologies. Um, it's not depending on the quality of the framework. Okay, every developer has had, had his favorites, but it's not the case. Mostly it's about availability of developers or the requirements. And in the subcontext, the data, the, the origin of the data is, is important. Um, to, um, in the end, you need just to deliver, just. 
that's just to deliver because this is a product for all end users. And in the best case, the end user doesn't even notice. It's Angular, it's React, it's UI5. We are around the FLP. Okay, we're working here and don't feel the difference. Um, in our case, um, it's it's well, it was very helpful declaring easier areas for each framework where it has strength and weakness and use it in parts, not mixing it in one process. And in the end, everything about the SAP universe or what should lead to UI5. Thank you. Great, thanks a lot. Um, do we have questions? We have about three minutes for questions. If you want to ask something, please raise your hand and I'll come to you with the microphone. Yep. Hello, uh, for example, question for SAP and planning calendar. Mm, would you still have decided to edit this control or now you would like to go with, you know, some third party library do it for example in angular and extend it more easily because you know i try to extend this control by myself did something but it was pain that no of course we know what <laughs> so uh, i would say i would try it always in your five <laughs> but it's depending on the developer and i think it's it's it was much easier for us to extend the issue because we are deep inside the UI5 framework. So it's much easier to us than installing any dependencies, what's an issue maybe, and try to figure out what to extend now. So it's I, I think it's an, you need to choose on the capabilities you have at, at the moment and for the project for, for sure. Okay, thank you. More questions? Yep. Uh, how do you compare different uh, frameworks or libraries with different rendering methods like Virtual DOM against, or, or even Ember uh, with their own uh, way of rendering against uh, UI5? Like how, how can you assess this kind of uh, different rendering methods? Um, it was not our goal to uh, find the best framework. So the fastest framework and the prettiest framework um, we wanted uh, to get our first apps running. And uh, I think with UI5, it's uh, the best way because you get uh, everything for free, FLP and role management. So yes, Angular is a good framework, but we think that it's best used for uh, end user applications that have to be really good in UX. Um, but um, the users um, that use our applications mostly are power users. So they already know the the stuff they had to do in the applications and um, we have to do very uh, very um, um, we uh, have to implement very uh, much I don't know what to say can you help me Christoph <laughs> no, I think it's it was more mostly a visual issue because um, we tried to integrate them both into the FLP, we, we are not able to really integrate them. Um, but you need to, to accept that if you use the FLP as a starting platform, the users accept the bar at the top in each application. So if you jump into the next framework, Angle or whatever, these applications have rebuilt these FLP um, header to make sure they come back, they find your settings. Because um, they're in the SAP uh, in environment at the moment, feeling in the SAP environment. It's not like uh, there are applications that have nothing to do with an SAP. So, okay. So, um, yep, I think we need to wrap up now because the next session is about to start five minutes, but I think you can approach the two colleagues with questions afterwards. So thanks very much and have fun.